So this is the third question related to implementation of SOP expressions using POS KMAP. So here we have again the SOP expression given in terms of the uh, min term values. So as you can see here, it involves all the cells, all the min terms which are possible using three variables starting from 0 to 7. So here we'll mark all of these cells. So here, one octet will be formed involving all of the cells in this K-map. So here, in order to identify the common variables from the horizontal and vertical side, what we have to do is that if in the horizontal and vertical side, we add zero okay let's say here in the horizontal side we add zero here also we add zero here we add zero here we add zero zero and zero the values remain unchanged uh, unchanged okay because we know as per the boolean algebra rule if we or zero with any boolean variable its value remain unchanged okay this anything so this is the same thing which we have done here so here after doing this we see that zero is the common variable so here the common variable is zero but this is in POS form because it is the POS key map in order to get the SOP form we do the complement so we get one this is the SOP form okay this is the SOP form so this is the third question so this is the fourth question related to implementation of SOP key map using SOP expressions using POS key map so here we have this SOP expression, just three min term values. So we'll map it. So 0, 2, 4. So here two pairs will be formed. This and this. So in order to identify the common variables for this pair here, nothing is common in the horizontal side in the vertical side we have v or c and then for this pair we have a common in the horizontal side and c common in the vertical side so it would be a or c but this is the pos expression we need SOP so for that we will complement whole complement the expression applying De Morgan's theorem will get when we complement it we'll get B or C A or C whole complement applying De Morgan's theorem we will get bar or a or c bar is equal to b bar c bar or a bar c bar okay this will be the sop equivalent so this is the simplified sop expression for this just uh, applying de morgan's theorem that's it so this is the fourth question related to implementation of SOP expression using POS key. Okay. So this is the fifth question uh, related to implementation of uh, SOP expression using POS key map. So we have the SOP expression given in terms of the min term values. So we'll map it. So 1, 3, 5 and 7. 
so here we see that we can form a quad here so this is the quad now identification of the common variables so there is nothing common on the horizontal side in the vertical side we have c bar common so it will be f is equal to c bar this is the pos form we want it in sop whole complement double complement of c which is equal to c this is the sop form okay so this is the simplification of sop expression using pos k map for three variable expressions expressions involving three variables